Club. I'm Audrey, not Audrey, Cameron, and today we're at Minecraft Cynthia Season 1, Episode 2. So, we're going to be building dog houses today, spawning little puppies. So, I'm really excited because I love puppies and dogs. So, yeah, they're my favorite animal. So, my sister just joined. Her name is Audrey. I spelled that. I I said it wrong in the beginning. <laughs> okay, so, sis, you ready? We're going to be building some dog houses today. You ready? Okay, so I'm just going to clean out my inventory thingy because I think it's really clobber jibber jabber, if that's a word. <laughs> I know. I just think I like it without that. Okay, so um, we're going to first... Okay, so my sister told me we need a spawn. And I think it was just spawn? Yeah. I'm not sure we need anything else. So we're going to get a wolf spawn, but this is also, I guess it's called a wolf spawn, but they also kind of look like puppies, so I like calling them little doggies or puppies, because, and they're really tameable too, and they like to follow you around everywhere you go. Okay, so first we're going to, we should find a good place to spawn these little guys. I, um, suggest that we don't do it near our houses, because, like, there's water around here, and I don't want them to accidentally fall down. So we're going to spawn it. On a different area so come on sissy you following me let's go find a little area oh hi little horses we're just gonna be going to get some pets okay this area looks good looks pretty good it's wide open it's also near your houses you come in okay so I'm just fine oh my goodness he's so cute oh little guy come here hey he's not following me I thought he'd fall I can't even make him sit or stand wait sis I think we forgot something. Oh, come on. You didn't tell me? We need a bone? Seriously? Okay. Right. So we need a bone to tame it. Well, I'm, guys, I ain't the Minecraft expert. I'm more of like the editing video person. So <laughs> let's get a bone out of here. This little doggy wants a bone. I mean, dogs do like bones. Even Chase likes a bone. <laughs> okay. So I'm going to tame you, little guy. Um work oh there you go it's right there. and do a few more times i believe it's you have to do it till you get a red collar or the red square looking around its head uh work please woohoo yay oh loves me aren't you little cutie boy now i can make you sit there you go it is so cute oh my goodness i should name you alpha Oh, that, oh my goodness, I am so sorry, little guy. I hate hitting you. That was an accident. Here, I'm just going to make you sit so I accidentally don't do that again. <laughs> so, we're going to name you, little guy. And I think we need... Wait a second. I forgot the name of it. Oh. Uh, oh, right. It's an uh, anvil. Right. Okay, anvil. I spelled it wrong for a second. <laughs> okay, there you go. Um, And I'm also going to need a tag. So, let's set that down. And we're going to put a tag in. And I'm going to spell Alpha. Okay, I spelled that wrong. I don't want to name it Ace. Not my Ace. Alpha. Yay, it worked. Okay, so Alpha, come here, buddy. I'm going to be naming you. Yay, it worked. Okay, there's Alpha. His own name. So, Audrey, do you want a little spawn your little puppy? Oh, you did! Aw, he's so cute! He's blue! And you named it Chase? Oh, my goodness. That is so cute. Just like a little puppy Chase in real life. So, they're both our boys. Let's suck it. Okay, so I think we should start building our doggy houses. Now, I think we should... I know they can just live with us in our own houses, but, like, I, I thought it would be a little cuter if they actually had it, like, on the end. Like, a little mini house for them to just chillax. It's, like, their own. So, I think we should find a wide open space and close to our houses, but, um, not that far away. So, let's look for a good spot. Um, nah, that's a little too small. Uh, ooh, there's a wide open space between those trees over there. I think that'd be a good spot. Okay, this looks good. There's tons of space for both of our houses in here. So, Alpha, you ready to build your little house, buddy? Hold up. I can't find Audrey. Oh, she didn't follow me. Where are you, Audrey? Chicken. We don't need your chicken. Is that a chicken? I think so. Uh, where'd you go? 
Oh, you teleported by my face. Okay, so she's here so we can start building a house. So I think I'm gonna make it red. Since your color's red, your name kind of suits with the idea of red. Yeah, red is pretty cool. I mean, red is one of my favorite colors. So, red and blue, actually. So, I'm going to make you sit, little buddy. So, you don't kind of get in the way. Okay, I don't know where Audrey's going. Okay, so let's just start building. Um, We're going to need red stuff. I'm just going to type in the color red and see what we have in red. Some red glass. Uh, I think... Red dye. I'm not sure if I'm gonna need it, but I'm just gonna keep it in there. Ooh, red tulips for decorations. And um, I think. Hold up. Oh, red concrete. Totally. Let's put that in. And um, a red banner for more decorations. <laughs> red, red, red. Yeah, and some paintings. Okay. So let's build somewhere around here. Like, let's start with the entrance. Okay, that's kind of wide enough, I guess. I mean, the bigger the better. <laughs> well, in this case, I want it to be bigger. <laughs> um, I want it to be for him to it to be spacious too, I guess. I really want this like to be too layered. So I'm gonna first um build the outer parts. Uh, Audrey, you're building it in the wrong place. It's on the other side. She's building it right next to my house. Seriously. Okay, thank you. So, this is how it turned out to be. I'm going to add some red tulips on the grass in front. I think that'll look a little cute. And it'll really match. And I built this, like, outer open area. I guess he can just come out whenever he wants and peek out up to the night sky. Sometimes. Um, and I think... Oh, I want some slabs. I think I'm going to build a little seat for him to stand on. Um, should it be... I think it, I think it will look good on the two sides. Wait a second, no. Never mind, <laughs> we're not gonna do it on the two sides. Uh, I guess we can do it, oh, uh, it should be facing straight. Wait, that's the wrong way. He doesn't wanna f um, face some trees. He should probably face the way in our direction of our houses. I know it's not that tall, but I don't know. I just wanna fill this space up with something. <laughs> so, he's got a little place there. Um, I'm gonna add some pains in so he doesn't fall all out accidentally, cause that would hurt. Ouch. Um, you know, I might not always keep an eye on him, so he can sit there. So I'm gonna pass it over to my sister. Hold up, hold up. Before I pass it over, I want to add a sign because it should be called his house, just to let it know. I like adding the sign, so I think I'm choose like a a jungle sign. Okay. So now I'm going to pass it over to my sister. Alright guys, finally it's my turn. So I decided I'm going to go for blue team because his color is blue. So I use blue concrete for the outside and I decided I'm going to do a blue glass ceiling with a cool shape. Now sheep, can you please move? Thank you. So I'm going to be using his blue glazed terracotta for the floor. So I'm thinking, ooh, it would look really cool if I add some stone slabs on the bo bottom and top. I actually think I don't really like the top. I'm just going to leave it bottom. So let's add the floor in. I really like this design the glazed terracotta has. So here is my whole house. I have some pretty blue flowers going through around the whole house and then I have this glass pane fence, light blue and dark blue and my dog is following me right now. As we go straight, you will see just all around the house. And then we have this item frame with the bone to look cool, a sign with his name so we know it's his house. I can't really fit through his house because it, it, it is his house, so we can see from the ceiling. He has an item frame with rotten flesh, food for him, a bed, which is a carpet, and then, yeah, so we have this panel. And that is the end of the tour of Chase's house. I think it's really cool. It's perfect for him, honestly. So here is the full view of it. Hope you guys really liked it, and I'm gonna fix this one. Okay guys, really quick, I just want to show his bed. <laughs> Cause he is really sitting on and I think that's so cute. Aw, Alpha really likes the bed, that's so adorable. 
Okay guys, that is the end of the video. I hope you guys really enjoyed this video. Make sure to check out episode 1 of Sentia and episode 3 will be coming up very, very soon. This is the end of our dog tours. So bye!